Caribou on shore there. Here I am just outside of Mission Coton Island, day 52. Hanging out with some caribou. over from Mishapakotan Island way back over there and I'm coming into what I believe is called Floating Heart Bay beautiful little bay in here Uh, it's day 53. I think this may be my longest day of travel yet, and I'm just coming into camp here. I'm in Puckaswa National Park, and look at my camp. I'm gonna scrub a dub dub, have a nice shower in that tonight. It's gonna be freezing cold. Cascade Falls. I'll uh, show you what I need to do when I need to beach this thing. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I got my centerboard down here. And all I need to do is slide it up. And then I got uh, my little rudder thing here pull that up and that lifts up the rudder and then I'm uh, I'm landed how about that beauty outside of Puckaswa. Well, I'm running down the coast of Puckaswa National Park here now. It's day 54. Got my first really strong rain uh, fall on the lake. It just came down pretty heavy there for a bit where I lost visibility. It's just dumping so strong. Remind me of when I was out on the ocean. This lake uh, continuously reminds me of when I was out on the ocean. Thankfully it hasn't shown me the uh, nasty gnarly waves. Comes a bit more strong wind here now too. Thankfully, I'm going downwind. How about that?
Well, as you can see, it, uh, it got pretty exciting out there for a bit, and uh, it still is quite exciting out there. Um, I've just ducked out a little bit behind these rocks. It's going a gale out there, I'd say. An early September gale. Uh, if I have too much sail out, uh, this boat just doesn't handle too much wind and uh, it just wants to sink the nose pretty consistently. Yeah, but at least I'm going in the right direction. I mean, it's a bit nerve-wracking because the boat just like, you know, just constantly is taking on water. The hatches are completely uh, watertight. And, uh, and you know, it's just a lot of uh, bungees and plastic holding this thing together. So it's a bit... Uh, a bit, bit of reason to be nervous. Um, there's also some. Uh, I did hear one of the like gnarliest lightning bolts ever. I felt like it was right beside me. That was a while ago though, when I first got out, and I, did, I actually was going straight to shore. There was really nowhere for me to land, so I, I thankfully I didn't hear any more thunder or lightning, and it looked like it was clearing up. So, uh, so that was good. Yeah, I mean this is just gnarly. <laughs> I'm in the protected land right here, and it's still uh, it's still just howling in here. Fun times. Look at that. Beautiful. On my last day on the trimaran, and I finally have some uh, good favorable wind today. I've been pedaling all day. Uh, the, just the favorable wind is coming with uh, apparently some weather. And it looks like I'm pretty much surrounded on all sides right now by rain. Somehow I'm in this little pocket where I'm not getting rained on, but I don't think that's gonna last. I'm heading that way, uh, just beyond those little that little island, uh, maybe about five, 10 K beyond that island where Katie's waiting for me uh, with a uh, canoe and uh, and a dinner, hopefully. Yeah, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling a little bit nervous about this weather. I'm just hoping there's no thunder or lightning in it. For now, it's uh, pushing me exactly where I need to go, so I'm stoked. Woohoo! Changed up my technique of sailing here now. There's my seat. I'm facing backwards. Um, I'm just uh, stretching and uh, moving around because it feels good. So I'm just coming into Rossport here. It's my final few moments in the trimaran. Got an extremely light breeze that I'm just coasting in on. And I sort of feel like I have survived Lake Superior, although I still have a hundred and some odd kilometers to go to get to Thunder Bay, which I'm going to do in a canoe with Katie, who I'm going to meet soon. I feel like I've gone through the worst of the open water and I'm pretty relieved. Um, this boat held up, nothing broke, and uh, so did I. And uh, I I'm a bit cold right now because it's been uh, raining and windy and I haven't been pedaling. Uh, but I'm also uh, very happy. And it seems very uh, peaceful here in Rossport. Looking forward to checking out the town, hopefully meeting some folks.